has provided a lot of great presentations over the time here at STIC and actually other outside in the community. So we are so grateful to have you here today, James, to present to us. Um, and we welcome you to continue to join our summer edition series as James is presenting again um, later on this summer. And we have lots of other great um, sessions for you scheduled. So without further ado, James, the stage is all yours. All right, good afternoon uh, to the students or any participants that are joining us or watching um, this presentation today. Um, I'd like to thank Dr. Garcia uh, for uh, providing this opportunity for me to share a very important, I think, um, tool or resource uh, in anyone's uh, professional and personal journey today. So uh, thank you um, and I will begin presentation, yeah. All right, and so today we're discussing the importance of creating positive social networks. And I'll start off by saying that I don't want this to be uh, misunderstood as I'm talking about social media, um, which I will delve into that a little bit uh, in my presentation today. But I'm discussing positive social networks in relation to the relationships you build and develop uh, throughout your life um, that uh, increases uh, your net worth, um, you know, as you move into different environments in your career and personal life. Uh, so I am uh, James Lightfoot III, uh, as Dr. Garcia said, the coordinator of the Academic Advising and Transfer Center. Um, and today's objectives, uh, in short, we'll be discussing, I say learn, every experience is a learning experience, uh, learning uh, how to connect with people and develop relationships. Um, and that may not be a normal or natural process for many. Uh, also sharing some knowledge and graining, gaining some credibility in your chosen field. Uh, so really learning how to work the room uh, and communicate uh, you know, what it is you want um, out of this uh, network relationship. Uh, and then lastly, communicating with like-minded individuals uh, to make friends and to network. Uh, and I'll share up front that um, I created this slide deck, um, but we'll go off the slide decks to really give you a uh, kind of personal touch as we go out. Um, because networking, there's no formula. Um, specifically on how to do it, um, but whatever feels comfortable for you uh, as an individual um, and within your space is what makes it work. Uh, so we'll start off with this question. Why is uh, developing uh, a positive social network uh, important? All right, naturally we are social uh, beings, right? Uh, we like to commune with, with friends, with family. Uh, we like to be in the space where we can share our ideas, learn from one another, uh, you know, have fun, uh, build your skills, build your knowledge, uh, and you really learn how to socialize um, and communicate in different spaces, whether it be something in your family uh, or it's uh, a business deal that you're trying to uh, execute. Right? And so having a, a strong social network plays a key role in that. Um, and what's really important around that social network is the who, right? So who is in your network and what are they doing um, to uh, build uh, your, your net worth, right? So uh, make your stock go up, make the cost for your services and support, uh, you know, be efficient to the skill set uh, and and all that you bring to it, right? Um, and then how you utilize it, right? And so some of your friendships, I'll say, um, could be solely based on, you know, some fun, right? So you need someone to hang, kick it with, right? And so that's your family or friend network. Uh, but then when you move towards uh, the network that you want um, in regards to your career path or as a student uh, looking to achieve a certain goal, uh, that network needs to be a little different, right? Needs to people who needs to be with people who are like-minded, uh, a little more serious about the goal you have in mind, 
um, and can really provide the support you need. And so you would want to think about how you're utilizing this network um, to be uh, successful and get the most use out of it. All right. And so these kind of four coin terms you may have heard or seen around or someone that may have said them to you uh, throughout your life. Um, I've mentioned one several times here, right? So your network uh, is your net worth, right? And so is your, if your network is strong, um, full of individuals that can add to you, who can help develop uh, your experiences, uh, open your mind to new uh, opportunities, uh, engage you to be better, um, your network, your value increases, right? Um, but then if your network is not as strong, it's just folks who wanna like, you know, but I hate to use this stereotype, white right? party, get drunk, like do things that are not positive, your net worth goes down, right? So the value of your services um, are not as high as they can be. And so it's critical to know who's in that network um, that's adding value to you, right? You are what you consume, right? And so if you are ingesting bad information, information um, not getting good advice uh, from your network, right? You then, to, you then start to output, that, right? And disperse that um, into the environment. And it may not look good, right? And then, you know, once again, your network is devalued, right? So it's important to have that positive uh, network because then they push you to be better. Right? So if you're around positive people, it only uh, creates an opportunity for you to be better and be positive and uh, share that same energy and enthusiasm uh, for life or success. Right? Birds of a feather flock together. I don't need to uh, delve too deep into that, but you know, good people are around good people, essentially. Right? Um, and then the old apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Right? So you know, that's usually geared towards your parental uh, or family uh, background or network, but understanding that you are a representative of them. So if they're not, you know, uh, representing the most positive light, you know, you need to change that or, you know, fix that perception so that folks don't think you're a product of, you know, something that is not positive, right? And that is, you know, I say the social network, that is your uh, network and that's what people that's how people receive you um, that's how you present yourself based off of those experiences um, and so I was gonna I'm gonna dive back into the idea that many of us um, start off in this kind of social networking uh, environment or experience uh, upon birth you start to learn skills of communi communication uh, negotiation, uh, listening and comprehension, um, code switching, if you will, uh, a lot of a lot of those tools are what you use um, to navigate uh, throughout life, right? Learn teaches you to adapt um, to different environments um, and really presents you with an opportunity so that you're able to work um, within personal and professional spaces, uh, given who's there, right? Um, and your network um, is key into that development, right? So that you then are able to do these things in a positive light um, and move forward. I come from a, a big family, a fairly big family for some uh, of five. Um, they may not be big to some uh, individuals, um, but early on, I learned to, I learned that those folks that I was around, uh, my siblings, um, we're talk, teaching me valuable lessons, right? As I was speaking, how to communicate, how to negotiate, how to, you know, code switch, right? What I should be saying in the right company, right? Um, not putting family business out in the street, not putting street business, you know, so much in the family. Uh, but, you know, really learning how to uh, utilize um, this skill of communication and engagement uh, to really progress uh, throughout my life. And then to really listen. Right, listen to what people are saying. I'm um, seeing how you can uh, engage or involve yourself in these spaces, um, and really, and, and use those tools so that you can navigate 
uh, your life towards uh, being successful. Okay, I could give you a very long story about how I've, you know, worked to develop uh, my network over time. Maybe I'll share that towards the end here. Right. So I want to dive into this so that we're not uh, under the idea that I'm downing social networking uh, as it relates to social media. Right. Um, and when folks hear social networking, that's instantly what pops into their head. Um, and I'll be clear, right? So social networks, commonly known uh, as social media for many, uh, is the online uh, application or service um, that serves as a medium for folks to connect and share with others um, who have things in common with one another, right? And so you're able to use these apps to communicate, to share. You may not even know these people, right? Um, you're doing this in hopes to gain uh, some uh, engagement or friendship or develop a, a relationship to someone you may uh, never see, right? And so there are, there are some professional social media networks out there um, that you can utilize for that. Uh, but the strength, uh, from my opinion, of social networking comes from in-person interaction, right? Uh, and so I'll transition from the social networks or your social media side to the social network. Um, similar in its outputs from the social media, uh, but the relationships and connections are not facilitated by an online application. They're real life. So you have to really communicate verbally. Um, there's, this, uh, there's these verbal and nonverbal cues that uh, take place uh, when you're in this environment. Um, and granted, both of them play a major role in our current lives. Uh, and there's some, some benefits and some major challenges that come from them. Uh, but the strength of the social network, I'll say, comes from you being able to call a friend or call someone within your network, and they're able to open a door for you that may not have presented itself, say, on Facebook, or you posting a picture on Instagram, or you're tweeting a very long, opinionated statement um on twitter right or even seeking you know a, a a relationship you know through a dating app right um you know the in-person style uh granted still has uh, in my opinion more power uh than the social network right so for those students out there like oh james doesn't know what he's talking about you know social networking is where it's at yes it is where it's at but we'll look at these benefits and compare them to what I was just talking about, about in-person connections, right? So social media or social networks, if you will, allow you to stay connected with your friends who are from long, who are long distances away. That's great, right? But we've been in this you know, environment where we haven't been able to be with our friends. So it lended that opportunity. But I know many of us can't wait to the opportunity where we're able to be back in person with friends, uh, sharing a meal or sharing some conversation, and really getting to have that, you know, good deep down belly laugh from a joke or an experience you've shared, right? There's something about doing that, you know, through a, a screen that doesn't really carry the same, right? Um, as I was saying, a means of communication. But what's better than hearing someone's voice in real time? in person to really, you know, share some ideas, trade some information, um, and then nothing is lost in translation for you. Uh, social media also allows you to keep, um, stay up to date, you know, on the news more quickly. So it's coming in rapidly, you know, you can scroll down and you'll have the most updated uh, information that's happening uh, locally or nationally. Uh, allows you to achieve a personal connection. Uh, through social network, but how personal can you get through a screen, right? Whereas when you're face to face with someone, uh, you can have a conversation, you can get more, uh, have more, provide more intimate details without the idea of someone may be able to hack or pull your information out as you're having face to face conversation, right? Uh, you make friends with similar interests and you get likes, which is gonna show up on my challenge area. Uh, it says networking, 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 um, which is important, right? But how well can you do it um, through a screen or through an app that's different from you doing it in person? 
uh, free advertisement, uh, creative expression, which gets people in trouble, uh, experiencing global exposure, uh, which is key. Um, you know, if you have friends who are out of the country, uh, you're able to communicate and share some ideas, right? Um, and then creating a positive impact on the world. So I'll go back to this uh, experiencing global exposure, right? Um, that's important, right? To use the social networking app or applications for that. Um, but at some point you're gonna wanna meet this person, right? Um, and so that's where the face-to-face -face, um, uh, uh, interaction, you know, I think holds a lot of weight and, and becomes very important. Um, I wouldn't expect, uh, and here I'll, I'll switch it to like the professional role, right? An employer, um, we are trying to, you know, obtain employment with, um, and you get someone from your network who lives in Australia, I picked the furthest place I could think of, um, to get your recommendation. And just say this employer or the hiring committee ask, have you met this person in real life? And the answer is no. Then their validation may not have a strong, uh, or their recommendation may not be as strong as you would hope, right? They've only met your digital self. And your digital self, again, can be fabricated. It can be made up. You may present yourself differently in this space versus in person. And so that's where it can weaken or become a challenge because oftentimes the social media or social networks um, don't really provide individuals um, opportunity to show their true and real self, right? Um, and they say it's creating a positive impact on the world. Just because a lot of people are doing it doesn't mean it's having a positive. But those are my, that's my opinion. Um, I got this from the Kansas City State University uh, student paper. So someone did some research uh, on 10 reasons why social networking benefits students um, and their discussion social media. Here's some challenges. I won't go through them one through eight, um, but they are very key to right, yeah, to offset some of those things that can happen in person, right? And I think the last kind of two are key for me, right? The abuse uh, and stress that happens upon people trying to keep up with what's happening um, on social media um, and not truly valuing social networking in person or the concept of it. <clears throat> so here we are. Creating positive social networks. How do we do it? Or how do we approach it so that you know, you're able to get the best outcome for yourself? One, I say is knowledge of self. Knowing who you are, who you are, knowing what you want to represent and how you want to be represented um, is key to you uh, creating and developing that positive social network. Uh, if we go back to the three kind of like statements earlier, you know, uh, the birds of a feather flock together. So knowing yourself will help you understand who you want to be a part of your circle, right? And making sure that they'll be a representative of you as well. Um, and I would hope that they will make those same decisions um, as they engage with you, right? And knowing what you want to represent, right? So if you know that you're working towards a business degree, or medical degree um, or degree in social services, uh, you know the type of reputation uh, that you need to have as you enter into those fields. And who do you need within that circle to really uh, represent, represent that and who could potentially serve as recommendations or supporters of that work? But if you don't uh, know yourself deep down inside, it can be very hard. You can have a mixed bag of uh, folks in your social network, and it may not pan out, you know, uh, in your benefit, right? Say, so secondly, having some goals, right? So uh, this sounds very kind of, uh, you know, utility, right? So I have, I'm developing a social network so I can use them. Yes and no, right? So a social network should then um, be mutually beneficial, right? So it shouldn't be all about what you're gaining, um, from the relationship, but also what they can then um, attain or gain from you, um, you know, as being a part of the social network. Right. 
Um, so understand what your expectations are from the network or from the relationship. Um, you know, what are you looking to achieve? Um, how would you like to benefit from this engagement? And then what you want to provide uh, that. So I like, oh, it would be great um, to have so-and-so in my network so that I can do this and they can do that, right? Um, and that way you all build together and then the social network um, idea grows stronger, right? Um, and then the action from that, three and four, right? Develop relationships, right? And so you'd be surprised. I am very uh, reserved um, and not very outgoing, uh, but I've learned over time that in order to get ahead and stay uh, in, you know, a, a, a positive a forward movement, uh, I have to develop some relationships, uh, be friendly, um, you know, grow the network so then those uh, who are out there uh, can benefit from my skill set and I can then benefit um, from their support. So, um, you know, starting to assess, right, who should be in this circle, right, and what skills uh, should they have um, that would then help me to uh, be successful. Remember, you're talking about a positive social network. So again, those folks have to be kind of positive, right? Um, they need to be uh, able to represent you um, and, and what you stand for and what you're looking to achieve. And then identifying folks who lift you up, guide you in the right direction, direction, connect you to others and help you grow. As I stated, um, knowing folks who will then open doors for you or you can then open the doors for them. All right, and then growing the network, right? So this becomes the, the key uh, in creating the positive. Uh, social network is, is to grow it, right? And to expand it past kind of like, you know, your four or five friends. Uh, so if there's a certain industry you're looking to enter into uh, or, or get some experience in, uh, this is when you have to be bold, step out um, and, and, you know, attend some networking events, right? And so there's that, that word. You have to actually physically go and do it, right? Attend some events, uh, shake some hands or, or give some pounds, um, you know, depending on how you feel about shaking hands these days. Um, you know, the whole idea around giving business cards out, it still exists, even in digital form. There are some great apps where you can de um, design some business cards. You're able to send them, you know, through uh, your phone to people if you're out at an event. Um, attending social hours for dis different organizations or associations. Uh, doing some volunteering um, in the industry uh, that you may be interested in. Um, or in this, or the skills that you're looking to develop. To develop. Uh, the old adage of cold calling, right? So I know the phone book doesn't exist anymore, but Google does. And so you can use Google to look up, you know, um, opportunities to intern at a bakery, right? Because uh, I really like a peach cobbler and I wanna know how to make it um, to perfection. And so if I need some bakers in my network, I'm going to look them up, give them a call. Would you mind taking me on as an apprentice? Um, or I need to be in the baking circle, you know, so help me out. And then asking a friend or family member um, if they know someone, right? And that's, that's the, the key there, right? So you say, hey, do you know someone who can, or you know someone who works in a certain field that then gives you the opportunity to connect, right? Um, remembering the goal um, in this place is to, to grow your network and expand uh, the opportunities that it presents, okay? And so you may start with a couple folks, you know, one or two people, but then that network grows, right? And then really understand how many people you want in your network. You don't need thousands. You know, I, I say, you know, keep it within 10 to 15, or it may be thousands. You just need to identify where they fit within the networks, right? 
Uh, by working in higher education, that network spans all folks working in higher education. And it is upon me to how I develop those relationships and how we uh, utilize the support of one another. Um, you know, and then looking into different industries, uh, you know, un really knowing like how many people do you need to get you into that door? And then how many people you need to stay in that door or in that place uh, for you to be successful? And as you grow, uh, you know, in, as a student and as a professional. Uh, one thing I'll say and I'll share as students may be listening to this is to don't be afraid to join clubs or professional uh, associations or social clubs um, and to volunteer uh, for community service. That's, those are key places where you can start to build that network. You can find like-minded individuals uh, to really help you move towards whatever your goals are. Um, and then as you enter or transfer out uh, potentially into uh, a four-year school or advanced degrees, uh, there's the opportunity to uh, participate in in other types of organizations that then build networks, uh, i.e., uh, an example, <laughs> fraternities and sororities um, are, are good places to build and develop networks, um, or you know, uh, unions or or, or other um, work groups um, that may provide you the opportunity to hone your skills uh, and get access to folks that you may not. Um, have a chance to access in other uh, spaces. I'll close uh, with this, um, understanding that your network may look different, right? So it doesn't have to be consumed of all one type of people. Uh, my network uh, includes young people, um, older folks, folks who, you know, will throw me um, off a bridge if uh, I need to be checked. Um, or, you know, folks who just have my best interests at heart, um, all working towards the same goal um, of success um, and, and accomplishing whatever task may be before us. So um, I'll go back to this, and it is very key. Your network is your net worth. Who's in it? Why are they in it? What value do they bring to you and what value do you bring to them? Um, it's very key into uh, developing that um, for your success, right? Know what you're consuming, know what information you're, 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 you're attaining and, and listening to, um, and know that who you're around is a reflection of who you are, right? And so start to assess um, those folks who are in your circle. You know, are they uh, marching towards the same drum or the same beat? Are they, are they working hard and focused, right? Or are they weight, you know, that you don't need, that you kind of need to get rid of? Uh, and, you know, assess, keep those who you need, release those who you don't, and keep moving forward, right? Um, with that, I thank you. Greenfield Technical Community College, SCCC.